So uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, practice techniques, uh, at least the start of practice techniques. It, it can be a bit of a bottomless pit and that's kind of where we need to start. So you buy a guitar, you may have been playing for years, but let's just start from the beginning. You buy a guitar, you say, I'm going to practice two hours a day, and blah, 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 blah. And so the first thing that happens is, uh, you know, one of the kids falls over at school, so you've got to go and get them, or, you know, the cat's got to go to the vet, or your mother-in-law turns up, or something. Basically, life gets in the way. So today, I'm going to be talking about a little practice routine that's uh, very time efficient, and... Uh, being efficient with your time is hugely important as a musician, um, hugely important in life. But uh, I think the trap most people fall into is they say to themselves, well, I'm going to practice an hour every day. And that's fine until something crops up and then you find you've had a week where you owe yourself four hours. And so instead of your practice being enjoyable, it becomes like a kind of a well, like a sort of a big black cloud over your shoulder, like some homework you haven't done from school or some such thing. And you don't want to be in that frame of mind at all when you're playing. So what I'm going to show you here is a little practice routine which doesn't take very long to play at all, but does you a huge amount of good. Um, we're going to start on the, the sixth string. Okay. Now, I've got my index finger on that, and as a rough guide, um, if you imagine pinching your thumb and your second finger together, that's pretty much where you want to be on a guitar neck, except with the neck in between. Now, it's different if you're playing chords, you know, where you've got your thumb over the top of the neck, or that sort of thing, or you're doing huge stretches. Um, that's slightly different, or you're bending strings, of course. But if you're just playing straight exercises, think of that, just pinching your second finger and your thumb with the neck in between. And your thumb really it should look like you're trying to put your thumbprint on the back of the neck you don't want your your thumb cocked like that because as soon as you try and move anywhere you're just going to fall off the neck so okay so far as your right hand's concerned um people vary hugely with right hand techniques my view of it really is to say well um i'm most comfortable having my little finger grounded on the scratch plate so I know where my strings are each time because they're where they were last time. Uh, a lot of guys play freehand and that works for them and that's great. Um, ultimately with picking you kind of have to find your own way but the starting point and the cornerstone is down and up strokes or up and down strokes but alternate strokes either way. So we're going to start with our index finger on the first uh, on the first fret of the sixth string Next, we're going to play the second fret of that same string. But the key thing here is we're going to keep our first finger on. And again, with our third finger and our little finger. Okay, so we're going to start off by saying well we want our first finger on there we're going to gradually walk up that string so first finger second finger third finger fourth finger now the absolute cornerstone of this is that you keep your fingers on okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move across a string and do the same thing okay and again so 
many people seem to uh, to miss about this and it's really something very simple and actually quite logical when you think about it so when people are playing stuff like this it's one of the things they miss remarkably often um, if you've got your arm in the right place to facilitate these fingers being the, the right length if you will to hit those strings comfortably and that's what you're after getting your hand in the right place is, is always always starts from here really it's not you know guitar playing shouldn't be all this sort of stuff it doesn't need to be it, you should be able to get your hand around the right places okay um, but if your fingers are the right length here by the time we get to the first string they're going to be very awkward and ungainly they're going to be effectively too long so as we cross a string we just pull our elbow back very slightly and we try to make this a nice a nice little smooth transition so my fingers are just the right length for the strings I don't want them sticking over here when I'm trying to play here okay so we do this and you notice I'm playing down and up strokes the whole time then I move up a fret and do this now you don't have to do this quick I'm just going I'm skating through that so you know we don't all get uh, bored waiting for me to finish but okay nice and strong very important when you're playing any sort of exercise pick it strong it's very difficult to, to pull out a, a you know a sort of a, um, a really strong picking technique from nowhere pull it out of a hat but it's very easy to back off if you're used to playing nice and positively okay now you can probably guess what's going to happen next we're going to move up a fret and then go across the strings again so and on we go okay so we want to get up to around about the 12th fret ideally but when you first start doing this by the time you get to the fifth fret you'll probably find your hands are very tired so don't try and do it too quickly too soon to, not too much too soon i should say so work your way up to the fifth fret and back down again and incidentally coming down again well it's really just a reverse of what we did <laughs> so on and so forth back down to the open strings now the great thing about that is because it, it sounds it sounds like it's going to take you ages but this takes hardly any time at all let's see okay so that's give or take five seconds okay five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty seconds to get to here 30 seconds back that's a minute okay so now i'm going to go back to talking about practice if you set yourself a practice time of 10 minutes okay you're almost certain to exceed that time every time you sit down and play you'll look at the clock and go, oh i've been here for half an hour that's a completely different overview then of how you practice isn't it then you're thinking well this is great i've done more than i needed to do and so you feel positive and you feel um that you're enjoying yourself and that's you know that's what playing should be about now obviously it's fun to play well and the more you work at it arguably the better you'll play so um you know it's there's no getting around the fact that you do need to work at these things but if you are going to be working at something you need to make absolutely sure you're doing it the best way you possibly could so down and up strokes nice and positive with your picking and a constant tempo now last but not least when you're comfortable with down and up strokes reverse it yep so you're equally comfortable either way around this gives you a lot of flexibility later when you want to be running around the neck and doing all sorts of all sorts of stuff with freedom now as ever with picking there are certain things that you can do and we'll cover those in, in other videos but the basic starting point is alternate picking so this is a great routine it sharpens up your technique gets your fingers working it's a nice warm-up if you're going to do a gig as well um, and it only takes such a tiny amount of time 
So probably two minutes, if you went all the way up to the 12th fret and all the way back down, not playing particularly quick, but just nice and even. So you miss a couple of days of that, that's fine. It's easy to make up. Anyway, I sound like I'm nagging, but um, it's all... It's all in a good cause, I suppose you could say. So, hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And um, if you could uh, hit the subscribe button, that would be great. See you next time. Bye for now.